Hey kids, it's Thursday and you're watching Jay Derrick on the Gay of the Day. Hi! Hi. Relax, it's Wednesday. Hey kids. Hello, bro. So, what you guys probably want to know is where my situation stands from last week. Um, I'm definitely better. Um, I'm not crying, I'm not upset, I'm not freaking out about it. Uh, I basically made a conscious decision to pick myself up and move on because I think that's the only thing that you can do. Um, I poured a lot of emotion out to some of my friends, some of which were very supportive, some were moderately supportive. Um, the thing that I got from some people was that, you know, I should have just kept my mouth shut. Not gonna happen. Um, I've never been that person to just walk away. Um, you know, and maybe it would have been a better situation if I had, but when someone is trying to humiliate you, trying to chastise you, or is just, you know, criticizing you, or being hateful to you, you don't have to stand for that. And I don't think anyone should stand for that. You know, there, yeah, there are a lot of crazy people in this world, and I ran into a crazy bitch who tried to run me down, but I would rather face that every single day than have to live my life in silence and not stand up for the person that I am. That's just how it is for me. I've also been dealing with sort of a conflict of interest with a very close friend of mine. Um, I just, I feel like we are not in the same frame of mind anymore. Um, and it sort of is raising a question to me of whether or not, you know, we're kind of walking down the same path or if it's time for us to sort of, you know, take our own route. Um, I love hanging out with this person. We always have fun. We always have a good time. Lots of laughs, lots of good memories. But as of late, every time we hang out, it's just constant drama. We're always fighting. We can't see eye to eye on anything. And it's just, I'm not getting anything of value out of the friendship. So it's making me question whether or not I need to keep it. So you guys tell me, what do you think? Um, that one friend who drives you absolutely crazy that, you know, you some days would like to beat the shit out of, um, but at the same time you can't help but love them. What do you do? Do you keep the friend or do you let him go? Um, Kevin asks what skill set, what you would like to expand in your skill set. I would say probably the same thing. Um, I would like to learn an additional language. I took Spanish in college and unfortunately didn't stick. Um, and I would also like to learn some kind of art, um, whether it be drawing or painting. Um, I'm pretty good with music. I took choir and band and all that stuff in high school, dancing, uh, theater and drama aren't really a problem for me. Um, so yeah, I guess it would be linguistics or art. Uh, Levi asked um, what the situation is with Doma. Um, the only thing that I can tell you, Levi, is that I know that basically the Obama administration ended DOMA, which means on a national level, we cannot discriminate against two men or two women if they want to, want to choose to get married. That doesn't, however, eliminate the state level. So basically it means if we can ever move past married, the marriage issue at a state level and get to the national level or to the Supreme Court, that basically same-sex marriage will be legal. But the fight currently is getting past things like Prop 8 here in California and other propositions in other states across the country to get us to that point. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, make sure that you leave them below. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, post, tweet, Facebook, all those crazy things you guys do these days. And I will see you next week. Deuces. Uh, bye. Oh, perfect. Until next time. Later, Gators. Toodles.